Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm sharing how I made a stencil on a basket. I thought it would be cute for a kid's Easter basket, but actually thought it would be really cute as decor in my house. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. If you are new, I would love it if you subscribed and let's get into the video. I'm going to upload my bunny image, so I'll go over to uploads. Here's my bunny image. I already have it uploaded into Cricut Design Space. All of these images that I have here you can use with my membership that I have. I always have a link down in my description box about my membership, but it's through Patreon and it just helps support my content and my YouTube channel, but I also wanted to give out some perks as well. If you are interested in this, when you sign up, you'll receive a little over 200 SVG images and there's new ones put out each month. You can also use these images for personal use or commercial use on products that you sell. So it's a really good value. We also have a private Facebook group for members only, so you can join that as well. So definitely check it out if you're interested. There's a link down below in the description box. Here's my cute bunny. What I'm going to do with the bunny though is for the stencil, I think it'll be easier to have a solid picture. So I'm gonna go down to contour. Then I'm gonna hide this bottom layer. Sometimes you have to play around with it to see which one's the correct one to hide. But when I click out, you can see it makes this solid bunny. So I think it'll be easier to do the stencil like this. Now I'm going to size it. I measured my basket and decided I wanted to make it 7 inches for the width. Then I'm going to hit make it. This is a stencil, so I'm actually going to move it down a little. This gives me a little bit of room on the top and the bottom to prevent my paint going over that. So I'm going to bring it down there. Then I'll hit continue. For my stencil, I'm going to be using Oracle 651, so I'm just going to select vinyl. I place the vinyl on my mat and like I said, I'm using Oracle 651 for my stencil. Then the Cricut will cut out the bunny. When weeding out the design, you'll want to weed the actual image, which is opposite of what you would normally do. Here's the basket I'm using. Jen from Jen's Gathering Nest, she made a heart stencil on a basket and it's where I got the inspiration to make this video. I'll link her Instagram below. Also, I got this basket from Target and I can link that down below as well. Next, I add my stencil to the basket. This was one piece, so I decided not to add transfer tape and this would just help save on some paper. I press the vinyl down as best as I could. This is a rounded surface, so it's not going to lay perfectly flat, but as long as the actual bunny design is pressed down well, then it should work fine for the stencil. I always like to go back through and press the edges down really well on my stencils to help get more crisp lines. To paint the stencil, I'm using Ballet Slipper Acrylic Chalk Paint and a makeup sponge. You can use whatever paint you want and I will link these makeup sponges down below because they are awesome for stencils. After that, I start painting over my stencil. I try not to have too much paint on the edge to help get more of those crisp lines as well. I also always like to start off with a thin layer of paint at first. This helps me with most of my stencils. I was having a little troubles with getting into the grooves of some of the basket, so I grabbed a paintbrush and used it for that. I waited for the paint to dry just a little, but not quite all the way, then I removed my vinyl. I think the bunny looks super cute on the basket. Next I'm going to add the pom pom tail. Here's the pom pom maker I'm using. It comes in two sizes and I found them at Michael's. It seriously makes it so easy to make these. I'll leave a link for those in the description box. You'll also want sharp scissors and yarn. I'll try to explain this as best as I can, but I will also link a video down below that I watched before using this. I'm using the smaller one and there are two sides that need to be pulled out. Then you'll take your yarn and start wrapping it around one side. You'll wrap it all the way around the whole thing. Mm -hmm. 
You want to make sure you don't have any yarn stuck on the bottom part here. I'll speed it up here so you don't have to watch me slowly wrap this around, but I wanted mine a little smaller, but you can definitely add more yarn than I did. Once it's fully wrapped, then bring that down and open up the other side, then continue wrapping on that side. Once that's done, close that piece down and cut your string. Then take your scissors and cut along the center of both sides and you'll want to keep the pom-pom maker shut. Then cut out a piece of string and bring it around the center and then up and make a couple knots to tie it off. Then you can trim down those two pieces of string. You can now lift up both sides and pull the pom-pom maker apart. There were some longer pieces, so I went around and trimmed those down, but it's really cool how easily you can make this with the pom-pom maker. I warmed up my hot glue gun, then add some glue to the basket and add the pom-pom tail on top of that. It stuck down really well and I think it just looks super cute. I love how quick and easy this was to make. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my Patreon account in the description box below. Subscribe if you are new and I hope you have a great day.